everyone, my name is Vortex the Alonisius, and today I like to say that you are in for a review at this moment and at the right time. Today, for us, we will be watching some anime, and I don't know about you, but you may question, why the hell is this dinosaur watching anime? To that, I say, screw you, I have fun, will you please stop discriminating my species? Now, with that out the way, I have now selected an anime. It is a really bad one to watch, and it's so bad that not even weebs can have a good time with it here, especially with critics and people who aren't even into it in the first place. Now, before we review this anime, let's play a bit of a guessing game. I'll give you three clues to guess what anime we're watching. The first one is that it's CGI animated. The second one is that it makes the Berserk reboot look like the Godfather in comparison. And it is an offer you can refuse immediately. Finally, this is a boring and stupid sci-fi anime we're talking about here. Can you guess the anime in 10 seconds? Time's up. Now, the answer is... X-Arm. That's right. We're talking about the bottom of the barrel CGI anime that barely qualifies looking as it is. This anime is so bad, it's hilarious. Well, today, I won't be laughing. Now, let's get this over with. Now, it begins with some generic city. And the first thing I see is that the effects are terrible. As if some drunk 13 year old messed with the effects on Movie Maker and called it better than Avengers Endgame. Also, look at the intro. Look! It's awful! Who wrote this garbage? Ugh. So, we then go back to 2014. We go to this generic high school boy named Akira Natsumi, who doesn't have a cell phone. And then we go back to his house, where he's cooking and. What the hell is this? What is this animation? It's so out of place and stiff. What the hell were the director smoking when he was making this? What is the art style you want for it? Yes. What? Just do whatever you want. All right, that's enough. I also want to break down the CGI animation to other animes and also point out the problem actually here. The problem is not me, <laughs> no, I'm not the 3D model you should be talking about, it's about the animation. They decided to put 2D and 3D, despite not working well because for starters, the 2D animation doesn't blend well with 3D, because the 3D CGI isn't well thought out as other animes that managed to make 3D almost look 2D, like Beastars, or something like that. It's like a GameCube slash Wii game, if anything else, slapped with some low quality GIFs and call it a day. The limp it is not great, and unlike 2D, 2D at least have their mouths work well with the animation style, so it doesn't look janky. Here, it looks really artificial and doesn't mesh well with the style. The point is, either work in 3D or 2D, you can't choose both. Unless you can make a style about it that looks appealing, but considering the budget, it is crap. Are we done? Alright. So, then Akira here, after getting some stuff from the store, sees a woman in trouble. And for some reason, he decides to stop and dink on the crossroad. And just like that, he dies. Just like any other anime character doing this. I'm surprised there weren't cars saying, Hey, get off the road, I'm trying to move here. Anyways, we then go see the future. And wow, this looks... Looks... Really boring, actually. This is like every generic dystopian world of anime. And then, we see the most awkward chase scene in anime history with two obnoxious girls who, to be fair, have a slightly better personality than the main character, but that's not saying much. Even Sakura from the anime Naruto is better, and the four kids version of Amy is better. <laughs> so, for some reason, this asshole of a protagonist here is extremely important, because he's a digitized brain, and now wants to find his memories. To be honest, this first episode is rather lackluster because he got hit by a truck. What makes the other robots say, oh well, he looks important. And second, this is in 2014. And I doubt robots are going to digitize his brain. And by the time he goes to the future, his core should be reduced to bones. No, it should be gone. 
Reduced to atoms. Okay, I don't want to watch this anymore. It's terrible. I want to be honest and straight to the point here. Negatives first. This has got to be the worst CGI anime in terms of production and airing on TV. I know worse, but this is inexcusable. It's almost as if they went out with the manga and said, yeah, we can make this into an anime. And when in production, they got some stuff on the computer. And when they tried cleaning it out, it just got worse. So worse that when they tried to render the project, it looked a whole lot worse than what they had to begin with. Sadly, the good part is that one, the voice acting is all right, but I feel like the voice actors just wanted a paycheck and that's about it, nothing special. Another thing is that it seems to have some sort of grasp on the source material. I guess depending on your view, this could be good, funny, and kind of bad. It's sort of something you can enjoy being drunk. I don't know, I don't drink, I'm a CGI character, and a dinosaur. I really want to destroy this anime, but unfortunately, it's illegal, so I gotta say, don't watch it. It makes Berserk look glorious, and at least Berserk look like a finished product, and, and not a PS2 game. Well, I gotta go, and look for some more meatloaf in the fridge. I'll catch you later. What the hell are you doing here? You said my anime is bad, and for that you shall perish right now. Oh, you're approaching me. Instead of taking my criticism, you're coming right to me. I don't think so.